The attack on the Olenya airfield, which Ukraine carried out, became a record for Ukrainian drones in terms of the distance of damage. Ukrainian military expert Ivan Kairaychevsky reported this on Espresso. So far, we do not know much about the results of our drones' attack on the Olenya airfield. However, what is interesting is that Ukrainian drones have not yet flown to a distance of 1,800 kilometers. Even if you calculate the distance from the state border very primitively, this is a record for the defense forces, said Kairaychevsky. In his opinion, the results of the attack on the Olenya airfield could be more devastating for the Russians. The results of such attacks on military targets on the territory of the Russian Federation are difficult to detect immediately. However, over time, the Russians themselves discover the details. In particular, when the armed forces hit Engels, and Diaghilev airfields, there was information that one Tu-95 and Tu-22M3 were damaged. And half a year later, the Russians opened a case about these strikes where they claimed that eight bombers had been damaged. I think later we will learn more about the attack on the Olenya airfield. But the very fact that we have a long-range drone that has a striking distance like a Tomahawk missile. This kind of Tomahawk with wings and the Russians are very upset about this, he added. Recall, Ukrainian drones struck Russia's Olenya airfield in the far north of the country. The drones targeted a Tupolev Tu-22M3 supersonic long-range missile carrier at the Strategic Aviation Base. Located in the Arctic on the Kola Peninsula, the Olenya airbase is more than 1,900 kilometers north of Ukraine, but a mere 200 kilometers from the Finnish border. In response to the drone strikes, Finnish President Alexander Stubb said, We have no cause for concern in Finland. We have the situation under control and are able to respond. Olenya airfield has been used by Russian forces to attack civilian infrastructure in Ukraine with cruise missiles. It was Tu-95MS bombers from Olenya that less than a month ago bombed the children's hospital in Kyiv, according to reports. Russia continues to suffer heavy losses in its war of aggression in Ukraine. Some 1,310 Russian servicemen were killed during the hostilities in the past day, grinding Moscow's total combat losses to 576,000 people since the start of its full-fledged invasion of Ukraine on February 24, 2022, the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported on Monday. In a post on its official Facebook page, the general staff stated that Russia also suffered losses in terms of military equipment in the past day. According to the agency, Ukrainian armed forces destroyed 12 Russian tanks, 8 armored combat vehicles, 74 artillery systems, 2 multiple launch rocket systems, 39 operational and tactical drones, 1 cruise missile, 62 vehicles and tanker, and 19 special equipment during the battles in the past day. Overall, Russian armed forces have lost 8,356 tanks, 16,103 armored combat vehicles, 16,010 artillery systems, 1,129 multiple launch rocket systems, 906 air defense systems, and 363 aircraft, 326 helicopters, 12,805 operational and tactical drones, 2,406 cruise missiles, 28 ships and boats, 1 submarine, 21,634 vehicles and tankers and 2,690 special equipment since its war of invasion in the neighboring country. Kremlin has not publicized the number of its military losses in Ukraine. According to Ukrainian media reports, Russia's losses in the war in Ukraine are three times higher than those of Ukraine. On the night of July 29, there was a drone attack on Kursk and Belgorod regions of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. As a result of strikes by Ukrainian kamikaze drones, explosions and fires occurred in electric substations in both provinces. No casualties are reported. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced that there were drone attacks on Kursk, Belgorod, Bryansk, Voronezh and Leningrad regions, 
and that 39 drones belonging to the Ukrainian army were shot down over the country by means of air defense systems. Вот оно получается. Горит.